Nobody's gonna report me for my nipples in this video, right? Like, I used to care about like putting on like a bra or something when I filmed stuff for YouTube, but I don't know guys, at, at a certain point, you kind of just stop caring. <laughs> I'm going to Anime Expo today. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited because I haven't been to Anime Expo in like four years. This year, I've like really gotten back into anime and games again. So I'm like really, really excited to like see people dress up and to like buy merchandise and stuff. Just some simple makeup and glitter underneath my eyes. Um, Gotta get dressed. This is the outfit that I'm wearing today. This set is from For Love and Lemons and basically I just wanted to wear as little clothes as possible because I know that it's gonna be super hot today. This is part of my outfit. I've been carrying around this parasol with me everywhere. Even if I have to walk one minute across the street, the parasol comes out. I also did my nails for Anime Expo. I did like a magical girl transformation scene inspired set. Good morning! Oh man, it's so windy. Look at look at my trusty steed for today. Ta-da! Hi! I found some cute Tomo and Venti cosplayers and uh, I'm following them like a creep because apparently there's a Genshin meetup in four minutes and I don't know where to go, so we're following them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> They're joining us. There's a venti now. <laughs> so we were looking for the Genshin fan meet and then I collected all five stars who are lost. Now the fan meet is going to the fan meet. The fan meet's going to the fan meet. <laughs> Nike's on this guy. <laughs> Everybody still is in my umbrella now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. You know what Kaching said to me? She said, You look nice. I'm like, I am. We found the Genshin food truck. It took us literally all day. Yo, from the front, I was like, This is just a normal food truck. But then the guy was like, Go to the back. And I was like, Oh shit. <laughs> That Brandon is just fucking dying because he knows daddy does not have it. <laughs> <laughs> I got here the, the first. We got the wolf hook juice and then also chicken mushroom skewers to revive. I'm not back like it. Might be, it might just be the really low deal. I think it's revived with the 50, 50 HP. <laughs> we converted him on camera. <laughs> not that moment. This is the Mora meat. It seems very suspicious. <laughs> Hello hotties, this is a review on the Genshin Impact food truck at Anime Expo. By the time we got there, it was about 5pm and they sold out of most things on the menu. So I grabbed the wolf hook juice, which wasn't bad. It was just a super sweet, fizzy drink of an unidentifiable flavor, 5 out of 10. I also got the mora meat. It was a 3 out of 10. I'm so sorry. It was just really greasy and kind of stale. Didn't enjoy it in my mouth. And last, I also tried the chicken mushroom skewer, which wasn't that bad. 6 out of 10. The flavor is pretty good, although it was kind of dry. Overall, it's not a good culinary experience, but the truck is actually super cute. So if it's ever in your area, I do recommend checking it out and getting some photos. We found it! Genshin booth! I love the cardboard. Yeah, they're gonna
how fucking small he is. Look, it's my baby! Look! Look at how beautiful! Stickies. I was like, oh, I'm doing so good, I'm not buying anything. Size bag, worrying about where the body pillow goes. Just looking at No worries if you want the other catalog here. I have something shameful to say. I'd rather have a girl body pillow. <laughs> I think the girls are way cuter. But what about Kakashi? <laughs> Look. Is it right in? They yeah, they have Lloyd. Wow, that's crazy. I'd rather have like a Genshin. <laughs> Do you have a store right next to yeah, my I'd apartment? Know. I'd rather have my apartment or something. Dude, get me out of here. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, this is for you. You have, a, you have a lovely daughter. You have a lovely daughter. Yeah. Yeah, right? Hi, hi, hi. I'm about to head off to a July 4th party, but I just wanted to show you guys my little haul. Um, I didn't buy that much this time around because I was like really trying to keep it under wraps but like yo when it comes to like stationery that's it like I'm I'm gone. <laughs> okay so this is like my fat stack of stickers. This person at this booth was so freaking nice to me giving me so many freebies. Um, let's see Bora Studio. I mean like look have you ever seen more stickers in your entire life. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, actually, I keep um, my like stacks of Polaroid uh, photo albums right behind me. So like, as you can tell, I'm very serious about my Polaroids. So, I mean, like I have a different album for everything. This one is Polaroids of me and my friends. And then this one is Polaroids of me and my dogs <laughs> and my family and my family and my dogs. And then this one is uh, my latest photo album from this year. It has um, photos of, again, me and my friends. So this is my birthday party. I am so excited because I've always wanted to make those cute little like Polaroid deco things and like little card holders, but I never knew where to buy the stickers and lo and behold, it's all at Anime Expo. So I'm so excited. I went to another little stickies store. Um, I didn't buy that much. I just, I thought these were really charming. I bought these two stickers. Oh my gosh, I have to show you guys my sticker box. Let me grab that. So legit, this is my sticker box. Is full of stickers. It's really fucking heavy. So as you can tell, I'm an avid sticker collector. I mean, like, look, look at all of this. Is this insane or what? So these are all my stickers and stationery, some wax seal stuff, and then underneath is more tapes, washi tapes up here, and then there's like another thing down here of washi tape. So I'm 
very, very excited. Um, one of my favorite horny artists. I was so excited to finally see her booth in person. So I got these like cute little stickers. I've got this like anime catboy made and then, oh my God, I'm so obsessed. This is a scratch and stiff anime foot sticker. And it smells like strawberries. <laughs> I'm so excited. And then I love demon girls. Like, I, I don't know what it is. Like, I just have like a huge weakness for like succubus girls. I got this new keychain for my keys. I'm so excited. She's so big. Oh my gosh. I'm, oh my gosh, she's so cute. When it comes to my favorite girl in the entire world, Miss Kamisato Ayaka, I simply couldn't resist. So I just, oh, she's so cute. And I really like it because like, I feel like it's such a unique charm. It's like so giant and just like really pretty. I don't know, I think I had some like weird awakening because like at the con there are so many Xiao things and you guys know I'm a Xiao main and I have been since I started playing Genshin. I played Genshin for Xiao, but then <laughs> when I saw all of the cute fan art of all the girls, all of a sudden, I wasn't a shower maid in my heart anymore. <laughs> it hurts, it hurts me. And then um, I bought just like a little souvenir shirt from a little bro because he was sick. And he was the one who bought me my anime expo ticket because it was my birthday present. So I bought him a silly little shirt and it's so cute and it suits him. And the store owner was so sweet. They gave me a little pin for free. Like anime expo vendors are the sweetest people ever because they just give you free shit and they're so nice because like they just really value your support and you know me i love supporting small businesses and collecting like hundred dollars worth of stickers so yes that is my anime expo haul for this year if you guys said hi to me Thank you so much. Like, you don't know how much of like a positive impact it made on me. And I was just like brimming with like feelings of love and support. I had a lot of fun and I wish that I could have, I wish that I could have gone more days, but um, I couldn't. But ultimately, like, I'm happy that I got to go at all. Um, and I just had a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much, seriously. Like, thank you guys for like still making me feel like I have a place, you know, in this community that I haven't really been a part of in so many years. So yeah, I just appreciate everybody. Um, if you guys went to Anime Expo, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope everybody has a safe July 4th. Have fun, stay hydrated, it's hot, and I'll see you guys again next week. Thank you.